Hello! So today I thought we would look at something a little bit interesting in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So as you can see we are sat on the ground here at Boonville in the Warco YMF5 made by Carinado. But that's not really the, the subject of today's video. We're going to have a quick look at a mobile phone application called SmoothTrek that uses the capabilities of your phone to monitor the direction you are looking. So this is the same technology that is used by the likes of Snapchat and various other applications to, um, to figure out, looking at your features, where you're looking. So then the phone allows it to broadcast that data on a given port and then you can run a piece of software called, Smoot, called um, OpenTrack sorry, that is an open source piece of software and I'll just minimize the browser now and show you OpenTrack. Now you can see at the moment OpenTrack isn't running. So if we go and get inside the aeroplane in Flight Simulator you'll see what it does as soon as I switch it on. So remember smooth track on my phone is watching my face and figuring out where I'm looking. If I then start this program suddenly if I minimize this out of the way when I turn my head now I've got head tracking. This is kind of your, your budget head tracker. Now there's a little bit of configuration involved in here to get it to work. You can see I had to choose the input to be UDP over network yeah which allowed it then to see what was being broadcast by my phone I had to choose then output as Microsoft FSX SIM connect if I hadn't chosen that there's various other options so if you're using DCS for example you can choose another option that DCS understands but there's lots of options in here so you can configure the mapping of how sensitivities on the, the the axes for example so I've had a little bit of a play with that just to calm it down a little bit and to make it easier for me to do snap looks either way so if I minimize this let's take it for a fly and see what capabilities it actually gives us so I'm just going to open the engine up on this aeroplane obviously we're we're moving straight away So we're going to use the rudder like we normally would. See, I'm now tipping sideways in my seat to see down the side of the fuselage. It's a little bit jumpy, but that's because the microphone's in the way of my face. If I had done that on the other side, you can see the phone's got a much better look at me. So I'm using a, a boom microphone. Obviously, it's getting in the way of my face and causing it to be a little bit jumpy. If I move away from it, it's absolutely rock steady look. I can look around and I could lean over the edge of the aeroplane and you know easily have a good look around like I can lean in towards the instruments and look really closely at them it's quite stunning isn't it obviously you're going to hear my voice moving around the microphone as well because I'm using a boom microphone whoops I've sat back too far in my seat there so you can see you can move around so if I sit up I can see over the top easily so suddenly it changes the game. If I didn't have the microphone in front of me, this would be an awful lot smoother. It's obviously interfering with the phone's ability to read where my head is. But if you don't want to go and shell out several hundred pounds for a head tracking solution, if you have a webcam, OpenTrack will do this for free. If you don't have a webcam but you do have a mobile phone, you can go and get a smooth track, get it to connect to um, open track and you can start having some fun now it's not perfect you can see it's a little bit jittery so it's going to be mostly down to the quality of the camera and the processing power of your phone but if you've always wondered you know what head tracking might be like then wonder no more because this is what it looks like so anyway I'm not going to go on and on and on about it and it's, it, I will say it is fiddly to get it to work nicely because you can obviously you can move your position within the aeroplane you can change the amount tipping your head around rotates your view within the simulator you know, so you don't have to turn your head 180 degrees for example to see backwards obviously you wouldn't be able to see the monitor if you did that so you can that's why you can set those curves 
in the OpenTrack software. So let's have a little go at landing just to see how well we do. So if we look over our, over our shoulder, we can see where the runway is. We'll just descend a little bit. I'm just going to move the microphone so it doesn't keep playing up. So yeah, it's much more stable look. Now I've moved the microphone away from my face. Obviously we can look over our shoulder and get some bearing. It's still nowhere near as good as VR. It's not even in the same town, let alone on the same football pitch. But being able to do this sort of thing in a biplane to kind of crane your head over the top of the fairing you know, just by sitting up in your seat makes things an awful lot easier. You do become very aware though of your head position, so it requires almost a unique kind of disassociation of motor control. Yeah, it's actually quite difficult. But if you concentrate, it actually becomes remarkably easy. Obviously, we could tip our hand out the side. Whoa! And we've crashed the plane. That's because I held the brakes on. But anyway, you get to see, look. <laughs> it's quite amusing, isn't it? Obviously, the normal buttons work, so we can put slew on and off to right ourselves. But there you go. That's open track and smooth track. So if you were looking at a budget way of doing some head tracking, then look no further. Okay, that's all for today, and I'll see you again soon.